Morning guys, welcome in, welcome into the show. Not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Make sure you guys are doing your research out there, okay? All right, let's get into the market this morning. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Bitcoin reclaimed 26,000, 26,300. Have a nice little pump today in the market. Uh, links up 5%. Uh, geez, everything's up almost between 3 and 5% for the most part. I'll be DCAing today, guys, into Caspa and Taraxa because uh, Caspa is down 4.5%. And uh, Terax is down 14.5%, so I will be DCAing into those two today. Uh, SEI Network is up, almost, uh, it's up 4%. Uh, ba -ba -ba, XLM up 5%. Nice pump today, 3.5% for Jasmine. Nice little pump today, guys, nice little pump. Your portfolio should be looking a little green, <clears throat> so there you have it, Rabbit. All right, let's get into the... Uh, Let's get into the uh, comments here uh, on my uh, top five coins that I will be buying in uh, September. Um, David says, uh, Jasmine. Uh, I got two comments for Jasmine on that one, uh, asking me why I'm not buying Jasmine in September. And I think that there's a little bit of a misunderstanding, guys. Um, the coins that I'm buying the, in that video are the top five coins I'm buying in September, right? And the reason that Jasmine is not on the list is because I already met my goal for how much Jasmine I want to hold, which is a lot, right? Um, that's why Jasmine is not on the list. It's a list of of of, uh, of projects I will be buying in September, not of my top five uh, favorite projects, right? Just to clear up the misunderstanding. That's why Jasmine is not on the list because I already hold a big enough bag of Jasmine. I'm working on uh, Taraxa and Caspa right now, so... Um, so yeah, just, to, I just wanted to be clear on that guys. Jasmine's still in my top, top projects. That, that's my favorite. Um, I just, I have a significant amount of it. Mr. J crypto says joy stream is a diamond. I agree. My friend, I agree. Uh, another comment here, mate, Tara is dumping hard. What to do? My comment is, uh, I buy more Tara's. I just said Tara's down 14% today. I'm buying more of it, right? Uh, that's what these dips are for. Um, so, yeah. Uh, EM responded to that comment saying, buy the fear, 100%. Facts, my friend, facts. Uh, Long Journey asks, have you heard of Dent? I looked into Dent last night. I never heard of it. I looked it up last night. Check out last night's live stream because uh, we went over it on the live stream. Um, so, definitely check that out. And, yeah. So, that is the uh oh and also uh, cross timber ranches asks uh did you do a video on lcx uh yes i did i just have not uploaded it yet but it is coming so um bear with me on that it is coming that's what she said um aj uh, writes crypto the top 100 matic holders own 86 percent of the supply does this matter to you I was unaware of this statistic, uh, but to be honest with you, no. Um, I wish it was a little more um, decentralized than that, but uh, no, no. I, I have confidence in Matic, to be honest with you. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have confidence in Matic? Does it bother you that uh, the top 100 uh, holders own 86% of the total supply? Let me know. <clears throat> Uh, 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 and trust algo says, uh, L M A O a side chain. When we got more real world use case than their chain, they have bigger chance of migrating to Algorand. This is in regards to, um, Cardano side chain offer. I think it's time. Uh, we as a community give a serious thought to Charles Hoskinson's offer to use Algorand as a Cardano side chain. Uh, the enterprise use cases simply aren't form formulating fast enough. Algorand might not survive long enough for them to uh, materialize. Cardano would be immediately open up for liquidity. The Cardano Foundation is simply more uh, competent than the Algorand Foundation. Algorand Inc. Uh, might thrive under the direction of Cardano. Interesting, guys. This is an interesting kind of uh, topic. Uh, a lot of people feel mixed about this. Some are upset by it. Some support it. 
Guys, I just want both projects to thrive. Um, I like both projects. I hold both projects. I think both projects have great futures. So, I mean, if they can find a way to collaborate and work together, awesome. I'm down. I'm not against... I love Algorand. That, that doesn't mean that I'm against Cardano. I love Cardano. That doesn't mean I'm against Algorand. These people who are picking sides and, you know, arguing and, and as communities and stuff, high school garbage, guys. High school garbage. Don't listen to it, right? Both of these projects are going to do well. Both these projects are going to make you money, in my opinion. Um, so get away from the high school crap and, uh, you know, make, make wise investments. <sighs> Watch your guru just in. Russia's president calls for BRICS to abandon the U.S. dollar and settle trade in local currency. Well, it would be very interesting to see how this whole, uh, this whole BRICS thing unfolds, eh, guys? Um, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin LFGO says, uh, the mysterious Bitcoin wallet that amassed over $3 billion worth of cryptocurrency in the past three months has been revealed to be owned by, drum roll, everyone saying BlackRock, Robinhood. It's owned by Robinhood. That is, uh... That is from Bitcoin uh, LFGO. So, uh, Steph is crypto. We like Steph is crypto here on the channel. He says uh, significant bullish RSI divergence on the 3D chart for Jasmine BTC pair. Uh, in other words, Jasmine will most likely outperform Bitcoin significantly in the next months, years to come. The price breaks out of this uh, descending wedge. Facts 100%. Agreed. Agreed. Um, mm, mm, mm. Mr. Crypto, most people don't, uh, most people do not understand uh, that BlackRock will need physical Bitcoin to back their spot ETF. Either they have already acquired their Bitcoin a few months earlier at cheaper prices, or they are intentionally manipulating the prices downward currently to create a more favorable, excuse me, a more favorable entry point for themselves. Uh, which I think is the more the more likely scenario, uh, because if they have to acquire their Bitcoin prior, uh, why would they let prices dump back to end their entry? So, a lot of people are on the fence about this. A lot of people think that BlackRock might be uh, trying to manipulate the price of Bitcoin and, and push the market down so that they can uh, lower their dollar cost average, basically buy in at cheaper prices. I think it's entirely realistic. Uh, in my opinion, uh, for something like that to uh, to be happening, so I guess that we shall see. Uh, uh, uh. Bitcoin Sapiens said, "If Binance collapses, we will get a Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin buying opportunity like never to be seen again." Eh, exactly. Part of me kind of, you know, I like I I really I support Binance and stuff, and I wish nothing but the best for Binance and CZ. I really do, but. Man, would that create a fantastic DCA opportunity for everybody, right? Would be a good opportunity. Um, Vail El Vail Valerex says, uh, if you really thought BIS is going to use ETH for CBDCs with those outrageous gas fees, then you were completely fooled. Uh, here is the real document from BIS with Ripple right on it, right from the website itself. And he, he does share it uh, right underneath uh, ba -ba -ba, Director of Payment Operations, Ripple. Yeah, so, and then uh, to reiterate that, um, ba -ba, Mickle, Mickle Markets shared uh, shared the same, the same post. So, uh, that's two different, uh, two different sources. I like Mikkel too. I think Mikkel's fantastic. He's good people. He does his research. Um, so he's got it shared here as well. Um, digital asset investor, trumors or rumors, uh, Venmo rumors are circulating on YouTube about, uh, making XRP available to its millions of members. That would be fantastic. Huge, huge. What else do we got? Who is ready for Taraxa 2.0 pump? 
Uh, Jeep panic selling. Thanks for the dip. Bags net full now. Now let's see a three cent Taraxa. It's half a cent right now. 100% man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I am bullish on Taraxa. You guys know that. Uh, and once again, I will reiterate to you guys because I like to be transparent with you guys. I am DCing into Caspa and Taraxa today. Uh, I'm going to pick some more up of both of those projects and uh, away we go to the moon, my friends. So that is the news uh, as it sits this morning. You are caught up. I will see you uh, later this evening for the live stream. Make sure that you're there. Uh, make sure you comment, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, guys. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand subs. Let's get there. Let's push it over the limit, guys. And I will see you guys this evening for the live stream.